Hey, I, you know, very much appreciate it. Uh, are you, um, let me just tell you a little bit about Potomac Valley Fly Fishers, just so you know. Uh, we have about 155 members and, uh, and their families. And uh, we've, we've had a lot of growth this last year, as I'm sure you'll hear from other people who deal with the outdoors. Uh, we're very much committed, not just to fishing, only fishing, but also education, conservation, and the environment. And in fact, you know, when you mentioned uh, doing the Monocacy cleanup, we, we participate in many cleanups um, throughout the uh, Frederick County area. And I am sure that we will send uh, your notice of the cleanup out to our memberships. I'm sure you get volunteers. And uh, I know every year we, uh, we're we on the, uh, the bottom end of the Monocacy and we do a uh, kayaking uh, fishing trip in June led by one of our members, Karen Baker. So it's a real uh, pleasure to be able to speak to you all. It's something, you know, we all agree with and hopefully uh, you'll, you'll learn a little something here. And I'm going to throw out some ideas. I've had some very good discussions with Tim. Uh, he's, he's been great just to try to figure out um, what we can do with this and some options. So I'm going to lay it out and let's see where we go with that. So if we can go to the first slide there, Tim. Okay. So what you know what we're trying to come up with is a way to recognize Lefty, who was born and raised in Frederick, uh, on the Monocacy. And as I go through his history, you can see why the Monocacy is a very good choice uh, for something. So if we can go to the next one. So here's Lefty, uh, who passed away two years ago. Whoa, just about a week ago, two years ago. Um, and if you're a fisher or hunter living anywhere in the world you will have probably heard of Lefty. I remember I was down in uh, South Carolina on a little charter fishing boat, and uh, this one congressman was talking to you know, this, the captain, and both of them were talking about Lefty, and I'm thinking, whoa, I'm in South Carolina. What is this? <laughs> um, so, it, you know, he's very famous for those who are into fishing. There are a lot of people who've never heard of him because they're not into fishing. That's all right. Um, but we think, you know, if you, if you think about it, being able to sort of come up with something to commemorate him would be a great way to raise Frederick County, our profile, and as an outdoor destination, and worldwide. Um, and you'll see there's some other things that this builds on as well. So this is our history lesson. If you can go to the first chapter. I found this very, you like this picture, huh? I found this, uh, I found this very interesting, just, you know, studying his autobiography and some of these people. He's, he was born in 1926, and he uh, graduated from Frederick High School, not in 2018, but recognized in 2018 um, as a Frederick High School distinguished alumni. And I'll, I'll tell you, I, I attended that um, swearing in, and Don Fine, who's um, one of our members, did a beautiful job. And the other people who were uh, receiving that award were sitting there spellbound by what Don was saying. So even them, it was so impressive. The, to me, the, the, the critical factor is, uh, as you can see, his father died when he was seven, and he was the oldest of four kids. So it was like seven, six, four, and a few months. Um, and they had lived a comfortable lifestyle, but you know, being a, uh, a widow, <clears throat> his mother had to move. They lived on North Bend Street, which back then was um, considered you know, not the good part of town. Uh, and his family had to live on assistance. But a lot of that hard scrabble beginning got him out there hunting and fishing to really support his family. He was catching food for his family, but he was also um, catching the food and he would sell um, the, the fish to local fish market and make some money. He would catch catfish or he would trap muskrat and other things and be able to sell that. And that way he was able to supplement his mother's income. So really, I guess, in, infected him with the hunting and fishing and, and part of life. So I move on to his middle life here, Tim. He, he enlisted in the war <laughs> after high school. He fought in the Battle of the Bulge. And then after he came back, he uh, got a job at Fort Dietrich. And um, I'm not sure what his shift to work, what time it was, but it gave him plenty of time for fishing and hunting again. So he, he worked for many years at Fort Dietrich. Um, and supplemented his vision. So we move to our uh, last piece here. 
um, these humble beginnings, you know, sort of got him as a career as an outdoor writer uh, with Frederick News Post. And I'm sure you've seen uh, periodically, I know, uh, Sue prints uh, reprints of his articles, which was, you know, he's a, he was a great writer. He was one of the founders of, of our organization 53 years ago. There was four of them and Lefty was one of them who started with us. He's a member of three Hall of Fames and he's fished with all these famous people here. I tried to pick a, a wide assortment, not to, again, not to discriminate against anyone or play up anyone, but just to show he was out there fishing with people and everybody know. So uh, the next slide sort of just as an introduction, I did a little research as to where there's been other public recognition of what I call inspirational fishers. So I got a, a couple of examples just to show you. Uh, I, I guess the idea is to sort of just stir the imagination to see what we can do. So, you know, when we first came up with this idea, we wanted the, you know, we wanted to rename the Monocacy Scenic River Trail to the Lefty Cray something trail. And Tim says, no, we can't do a whole, you know, park. There's county regulations. And, and I actually respect that, um, do that. I, I have this, this was at the Gunpowder, and they did not name the entire Gunpowder Falls. They had like an offshoot trail that they named the Lefty Great Fishing Trail. And you'll see in the next picture um, where not only do they have this trail, but they had a little uh, rock with a monument. And this is then Governor O'Malley did that. And I was trying to do some uh, reconnaissance work because as I have learned, every great idea ultimately degenerates into hard work. So I was thinking, okay, if we come up with this idea, who are we gonna have to talk to? And from what I understand, this whole proposal, I, I can't tell you if it costs money or how much, but they had to run it through uh, the Department of National Resources. They approved it. The Board of Public Utilities eventually at the end had to vote on this. So I just throw that out there as <laughs> some research that I've done. Okay, next uh, slide. Uh, we have a couple of things up in uh, Hunting Creek that's named after a uh, famous fly, fly fisherman from the area. There's a Frank Ben's Pond, which is uh, right, you know, right off uh, 77 there that you're all familiar with. I know they've been doing some work on the waterfall. Um, so you got that. If we go to the next one, you got the Bill Burton Fishing Pier. This is on the chop tank. Uh, Bill Burton was a uh, outdoor writer as well, and he was actually instrumental in helping to preserve this little area as a state park. Next slide. I'm not gonna give you a history of every person. This guy, Joe Brooks, again, there's a monument at Big Hunting Creek. Joe was the guy who taught Lefty. So Joe's the one who got Lefty into all this stuff. And he was also a writer with the Frederick News Post. So he, I guess he sort of passed it on. So Joe Brooks is the, he, he's got an interesting story himself, but He's the guy who got Lefty more into it. Okay, the next one. This is um, Pennsylvania did something uh, recognizing Vince Marinaro, who uh, was the name of my math teacher in high school, but this is not him. Um, and Charlie Fox, again, two famous uh, Pennsylvania fishermen. And uh, one of the reasons I want to show this in, in the prior picture, you can see fly fishermen love this stuff. They come and they pose with these guys because you know, to them, these are icons and part of the, the history uh, of, you know, getting into that. So I just want to do that. Okay, next slide. Even the post office recognized his contribution. Um, he created a, a fly it's called the Lefty Deceiver. Uh, and this is uh, a one of the top flies to use in saltwater fishing. So he developed this and mimics, you know, a, a minnow and all that, but it's it's world famous. So uh it, it's it's pretty interesting it's, so when the post office can recognize one of your local people um i think we should do something in frederick county <laughs> so the next slide please uh I, I talked a little bit about the economic impact and i got these numbers from um the dnr that gave a presentation and actually this is 2018 numbers so in 2018 they uh calculated 53,000 anglers fish for trout um, with an estimated annual expenditure of 56 million. And of course, you know, there's a lot of fishing on the bay. This is just trout fishing. And by my 
humble calculations, it's about $1,000 per angler. So the economic impact, the more people you get coming in to go fishing in Frederick County, the more economic uh, impact it's going to be. And, um, you know, for those who haven't, who aren't into fly fishing, Frederick County's got uh, some wonderful places to go fishing. And I, I won't go through the list. If you join the club, we'll give you the secret little code to find those places. But um, there, there's a lot of people coming. And, you know, with a, a lefty drawer in, that's another plus as well. I spoke to, um, I don't know if you all know uh, Murray over at Hunting Creek Outfitters. So, you know, I talked to him a little bit about, you know, what's going on with COVID and the economy and fly fishing. And he pretty much told me what I've learned from a lot, talking to a lot of the, the fly shop people is business is doing <laughs> You know, early on in the pandemic, you couldn't get any of the stuff, even though there was a little restriction on fly fishing for the first month or so. But we got over that. But the uh, the boom, you know, again, we've experienced a 30 percent growth in our membership. Uh, people are really getting into it, uh, which is good. And a lot of young people, a lot of women. Um, it, it's just been very interesting to see who's getting into it. So uh, we want to hook into them, as we like to say. Uh, <laughs> Moving to thing. So, it, you know, it's, it's interesting that uh, if you go to the next slide. So, you know, when you think about it, Lefty has, I, I say, cast his line in every continent uh, except for Antarctica, got 126 species of fish. Um, he's written 32 books. He's been in countless TV shows and uh, so many other things, but we need to do something for him here in Frederick. So some of the ideas that I had, which I sort of pushed through, and it, it depends how, how big or how small we want to get. Um, I'm trying to get my thing. Okay, so just a couple of the ideas was, you know, de designate a, tr uh, a trail or path along the river, just a small section. Um, get a boat <laughs> ramp. We, we, there's 41 miles. Uh, you guys probably know the numbers better than me, 41 miles in the Monocacy that are in Frederick County with 10 access points. So um, maybe one of the boat ramps or something like that could be designated. Uh, I like the idea of the the plaques or monuments um, of something, you know, a big rock with a, a plaque or something like that. Um, those are options as well. And other than that, we're pretty open. I, I think, hopefully I've told you the importance of this, why it's important to get you know, some sort of recognition for Lefty, but the value it brings to, to Frederick and the Frederick area. It's not just, just the economic value, it's sort of the tie, the bridge from the past to the future. So, you know, Lefty, you know, came up in a different generation and he's inspired a lot of people to do fly fishing. And a lot of the young people, as this picture here shows, are into it. And um, we're just trying to get that bridge and little history that doesn't hurt in this thing so that that's sort of all i got i don't know if you guys have any questions tim or 